a nice girl. Hi guys, it's Julie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my fall favorites. These are some of the things I've been loving this fall that I would recommend to you guys. I also got my hair done today and it is a lot darker if you couldn't tell. I am so happy with it. I was so over like the contrast of my roots and the blonde. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Not that it really matters. Yes, let's just get started. Some of the things I'm going to mention are not with me just because they're at the barn. First thing is my Henry de Rival, um lunging Sir single. I don't know if I said that right. I've been wanting to like get more into lunging for a while. I just think one, it's a really good thing for your horse to be good at lunging. And two, um, it can be really helpful to like, if you use like lunging aids to help them like get under themselves and like learn how to like use their body correctly. Uh, I'm not saying it's like a way of like cheating the system. It's just, it can be helpful. I also ordered the Pessoa lunging system, but that is back ordered until December 14th. But I really love this so single. I was pretty picky on which one I got because I wanted one that where the top was like padded, not just like laid flat across their back. And I also wanted one that had like the metal rings like on their stomach so you could attach stuff to it. Uh, which a lot of them do not. Kind of going along with that, my next favorite is my neck stretcher, which I got from Smart Pack. I love lunging in this. He just stretches so nicely with it on, and I just love it so much. So I've been riding in it a little, not a lot, but just like probably once a week to just encourage a more proper frame. Next is my back on track mesh sheet. I have wanted one of these forever. I put it in a haul and I am loving it. I love using it as a cooler. It really helps him dry off a lot faster because we haven't clipped him yet. It seems to really keep him nice and cozy. I do have one problem with it though. I was keeping it under his blankets like when he gets turned out. Even though his shoulder gussets, I noticed it was kind of starting to give him shoulder rubs. So he's not being turned out in it anymore but I still use it like after every ride and like if he's in his stall for a little bit I'll put it on him and then next I wanted to show you two shirts the first one is the Taylor Sportsman ice fill shirt I fell in love with these in the summer and they're perfect for summer but they are also a great like transition piece I sound like such a huge guru because there are still some days in the fall when it gets pretty warm the other one is this Athleta um, quarter zip which I am obsessed with. Um, my cousin actually bought it as a running shirt and then she, just, she doesn't wear it anymore so she gave it to me. I rode in it and I am in love. It is like super, super lightly fleece lined. So it's great for like the colder days of fall or winter. I cannot find it anywhere. I think they stopped making them. I can't find really that much similar. If anyone knows where I could find them or knows something really similar, I would love that. And then next, I have three Ruspari belts to show you. Yes, this is a bit excessive, but I love them all. The first one is I believe the gray one that is in the unicorn collection. Then I have the maroon one from the fall collection and the black one from the fall collection. I was so excited to finally get one of their black belts just because I wear black so much and it goes with all my breeches and stuff. So this is just like a staple for me now. But um, I love the maroon one so so much. I would totally recommend all of these. On their website, I believe to get 10% off, make sure you sign up for their email. Their emails are so cute. They don't send them out that often, but when they do to like announce new collections, they are so adorable. Next, I have two FX slash FL uh, products to talk about. The first one is their hoof brush. I have mentioned this hoof brush a lot of times I feel like and I haven't owned it for that long. I love it. Um, it's great for the fall because in the fall, especially like where I live, it gets muddy a lot and being able to like scrape the mud off and brush it off with this, it like with this hoof brush is great. I also have been loving it to get any like dried mud off of Friday's blankets. It has like, I love it for that. Next from them is their leather cream soap. I've had this for a long time, I've probably talked about it before, but I love using it on my saddle and I also have started using it on my mountain horse, the, the Venice um, tall boots. And the reason I'm using it on those tall boots, I don't use it every day, I use it about like once a week to once every two weeks, is because they aren't like, there's like three different 
types of leather is like um, finishes of leather on that boot. So it's not like I wanted to put brown polish on the whole thing because they, the whole thing isn't like super shiny and it's not like marketed as like, you know, like the classic black shiny boot. I've been loving it. It's keeping them looking really nice. Next is the Equipad brushing boots. And you're probably like, Julie, those look brand new. How can this be a favorite? And it's because I have them in brown and black and I haven't used the brown ones yet. But I have been using the black ones and I love these. These are amazing. These boots are perfect for lunging or just flat work. Obviously light jumping, but if you're doing like super hardcore jumping, you'll probably want something a little more protective. I'm still like gaining my fitness in jumping um, and I've just had like a really jank like lesson schedule and like personal schedule, so I haven't been able to have many lessons. I have jumped once since like I dislocated my shoulder. These have been perfect for me like the past month, two months, um, as I've been just flatting a lot and lunging some. They are perfect and they look like leather, but they are actually faux leather. They're super nice and like mesh and have some padding, and then you can get them embossed with I believe two initials, maybe three, mine has two, they just say EP for Equestrian Prep. Then the last thing I want to talk about is Horse Guard, which if you don't know what Horse Guard is, it is a supplement company. I don't know if you even know this, I never even made a video about it. Lisa and I had partnered with Biomain at the beginning of the summer and we were sent their three month supply of supplements and I noticed no difference. And I was warned of this by the head equestrian on Instagram, I believe that's her Instagram username. That like her horse West had been on it for nine months and I was like, I'm just gonna give it a try because we'd already been in contact with them. And again, I saw no change whatsoever and so I decided to end that partnership and start him on Horse Guard because I had heard so many good things about Horse Guard. And I also plan on doing a whole video about this. So I need to zip my lip. He's on the hoof and hair guard, the gut guard, and then he gets like lots and lots of flicks treats. I just love their stuff. It's amazing. The team behind Horse Guard is amazing. Um, they're really helpful. Emily has just been like my little guiding force. I, we aren't partnered with them. Maybe stay tuned later. But as of currently, I am spending money on these products. I believe in them wholeheartedly. I'm not just here like preaching about something I'm getting sent to for free. I am paying for it. If you don't want to start your horse like full out on all their supplements, I would recommend just getting their Flix treats because they are amazing. Literally the only ingredient in them is flaxseed and they are super, super good for your horse. But Friday loves them and Friday can be kind of finicky about treats sometimes and he loves flicks like cannot get enough of them even with flicks you will see a difference thank you so much for watching I will make sure to link everything down below make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later bye Maybe it's in the color where I left my lover. What an expensive